Hey guys, this is Jerry Brewer of East Bay Hitting Instruction. So I get a lot of questions, especially lately, about how do I get video, how do I make video, um, what do I use? So I want to give you just a little quick video tutorial on what I use. And there's lots of ways to grab MLV video. Um, one I really like is Baseball Savant because it really gives you a lot of information. And so if you fire up Baseball Savant and you come over to Applications, you can check out the Spray Chart Compare. And it's a really, really cool tool. Okay, So it pops open, and let's look at Chris Bryant. All right, so here he is, third baseman of the Chicago Cubs. And what it does is it loads all his batted ball information, okay, on the spray chart. And we can come up here and we can filter it. Let's look at home runs. Let's look at ones he hit at Wrigley. Let's look at um, fastballs greater than 90 miles an hour, okay? We can update this and say, okay, cool, we have three dots. These are all the things that made our filter criteria. <clears throat> so let's look at this one right here. So this is Chris Bryant homers his 10th home run on a fly ball left center. All right. So you pop it up and it tells you everything about the pitch. It was a count two and one. It was a fastball, four seam, 94 miles an hour. Batted ball velocity 106. You can see the pitch location. And tried to come under his hands. It didn't work. Here he is rounding base. We can skip through it and say, you know, what do we get? Oh, cool. We get a, a close up view of the front. And then the side. Alright, so that's a pretty cool video. So let's let's save it and, and look at it. So we just right click, save video as uh, Bryant uh, front side. Okay. <coughs> so then for software, what do I use? So I run PC and I use software called Kinovia. And so um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I would never a lot of guys ask me, hey, I'm a Mac user, what should I use? I really don't know. Um, I don't run Mac. I'll n probably never leave PC for Mac because of Kinovia. I love it that much. It's a freeware software, so you know, try it. Get it and try it. If you use it as much as I do, you know, I recommend giving a few bucks to the guys who coded it. Coders got to eat as well. But anyway, this is the software, so you can do all kinds of things. You can draw pictures on it. You can do uh, timers. You can do all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, I really like it. I, I use it a ton. Um, like I said, it's it, it's a great piece of software. I really recommend using it. Um, and can't beat the price, right? So anyway, so we can punch the video and see. Okay, uh, cool. We blast this one in the left center. All right. Um, we can do a lot of things. We can do side by side comparisons with other videos. We're not going to do that right now. Let's just go and look at the prompt we want to look at. Let's see, here we go. I like that front up view of the of pitcher's view. I really like pitcher's view. So he's getting high fives. All right, cool. So now we'll just clip this and then play it. Boom. Pretty nice. And the side view. Boom. Very nice. Pretty high speed this shot there. That's pretty good. All right, so we'll stop it there, clip it, and now we have our shortened video. We can save it. And we have all kinds of options. I'll just save the video if you want to put slow motion or any of that. And then I'll just call it. I'm going to put it in a folder I'm goofing around with. Pardon me while I do this. And so we'll call it Bryant uh, Front Side Cropped. Alright, so now we have a video. So you can upload it to GIFCAD and post it on Twitter and look like a genius. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, one thing that's pretty cool you can do, you can turn this into a flipbook. And so I'll show you some more free software. This is um, Airframe View. Um, it's a really, really cool little video editor, or not really an editor, but you can do a lot of cool things. You can open the video um, and export all its frames. And so that can do some pretty neat stuff there if you want to make a gift or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to open this video. And here's the video I just made. And I have all kinds of neat options I can do here. I can, one of them I like to do is you can extract all frames. So I'll just, uh, where am I going to put this? Let me create a new folder really quick. Bear with me. Um, just as a fair warning, if you download a lot of video, your computer will slow down because you have gigabytes and gigabytes of video on it. So I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it Bryant. Okay. So now I can go over here and put all these 
So now what I've done is I've just took all the images from that folder, from that video, and I just now have them individually into a into a folder. So I can create this in a GIF cat, I can pull in the PowerPoint and make a um, flipbook. Let me show you how to do that. Insert photo album from file. Use some places. Let's see here. Do do do. Select them all. Blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, this is going to take a little while, unfortunately. So this is going to punch through that, and then you will have a picture on every slide, and you have an option of exporting that as a PDF, and now you've created a flipbook. All right? So, um, yeah, use Kinovia. Um, use Baseball Savant. Like I said, there's other ways. This is just a really easy way of doing it. Um, I really like Kinovia, and I really like Baseball Savant. And then, like I said, this is going to take a little while, but um, you'll, have a, a, a P, uh, you'll have a PowerPoint slide deck with every single uh, picture and then you can just save that as a PDF and then you can punch through that on your tablet or whatever you want to so that's kind of cool. I'm um, also a way of kind of bouncing video around. So don't tell Steve Carter because he'll get on to you for about flip books. But anyway, that's how I use it. Um, I use Baseball Savant, I use Kino Villa and um, impress your friends, impress your mom with your, your video making abilities. Alright guys.